which brings us to today's crossfire quiz. U.S. troop levels in Iraq peaked at 157,000. Some of my Republican friends like to forget they pushed us into Iraq to find weapons of mass destruction that didn't exist. And what do we get for that? We get endless sectarian violence and extremism like we're seeing today. And somehow this is all President Obama's fault when he was the one, one of the few that had the courage to stand up and oppose the war. The truth is, too many Republicans never met a crisis that they didn't want to turn into a war. Every 2012 Republican presidential candidate, except Ron Paul, would have gone to war with Iran. Two of you sitting here at the table tonight, in fact, uh, threatened war with Iran. And th this brings me to my question for Senator Santorum. Where do you draw the line? You know, the president has said that we can't be the world's policemen. You know, we have limited funds, we have limited troops, yet there are people out there calling for troop commitments in uh, Iraq, permanent troop commitments in Afghanistan, uh, Syria, Egypt, and the list goes on and on. So where do you draw a line? What, what should America's foreign policy be with these limited constraints on us? It should be to focus on making sure that America is safe. And, uh -huh. when you have, <laughs> and when you have elements in that region of the world who have attacked it, but us what does that mean? and who have threatened to attack us again in the, in the, in the future, mm -hmm. then we have an obligation to, uh, to make sure that that doesn't so happen. That's, that's, why, that's, we went, Syria, that's why we went to Syria, Iran, Afghanistan. Iraq, Iraq, Afghanistan. I think our obligation is different, if I may. Our, our obligation is to contain, I agree with the statement, we need to protect America. So we have an obligation to contain the threats that threaten us. We do not have an obligation, or well, it's not even a matter of obligation. It's a matter of the ability. ability. I mean, you just pointed out how many troops we had in Iraq. And there was still a heck of a lot of sectarian violence going on then. And I'll even disagree slightly. Iraq war, and Iraq war, Saddam Hussein wasn't going to last forever. This was coming, okay? The Sunni-Shia split that has happened, um, you know, it's happening in Syria, it's happening in a bunch of different places. What we need to do as a country, how do we contain that it's threat? It's not just the Sunni Shia. So that it it's, doesn't it's, threaten it's us. It's radical Islam. I mean, oh, yeah, you're, no, you're, that's talk, fine. you're yeah. talking about ISIS. Yeah, they're a radical group. Yeah, no, the Iranians are no piece of, you know, no, right. no, no, no picnic. Absolutely. And, and we're talking about not going to war with Iran. What we were talking about is stopping Iran from getting oh. a nuclear weapon, which is a very different thing. And, and this president has not it, done and that. The, the, the president well, actually got the table not, Iran, not, Iran and stopped the nuclear weapon. Well, they have not. But we have obviously has stopped. We've done very, in my opinion, we've done very little. This temporary agreement is just not even a speed bump so, in, so in, in Iran. It's more than we've ever had in, okay. in Iran. Setting aside I, I Iran. I disagree with that. In fact, Iran if you look at after, after we attacked Iraq, Iran did shut down their nuclear program. Why? Because they were afraid of the United States. So all we have to do is invade another country? <laughs> no, I'm not suggesting that. I'm showing that strength is important. And we have not shown strength in a reason where strength matters. And how would you show strength exactly? What well, country would well, you like to invade? No one suggested. Oh. Well, you, okay, you, okay, you well, all right, okay. To, well, let's to, back up, back up. Start with the first part. Let's, let's, how would you show strength? Well, what, what the president did when he ran for office in, in 2008 um, was say, we're still waiting. No, no, he said, I'm, we're getting out. It was the wrong war. That's not. You, no. sent, you send a message to the Iraq, Iraqi government, so and by the way, the Iranian government, too, and to the, and how to many the terrorists, troops would you like we're us, out. How many troops, we're out, and how many this troops isn't our would you like anymore. us to still have in Iraq, then? Uh, you well, know he what? Said you're, you're, ask, you're asking a question 000. in a vacuum that that that, that, no, the that, point that is, was created by you President are Obama. Assuming that our military presence, U.S. military presence in a Muslim country, is going to make us safer, the president and I disagree with that presumption. And I think we have ample evidence in Iraq and Afghanistan to prove that. Uh, I'm not too sure that you have ample evidence in Afghanistan. I've, obviously, we have not been attacked since the events of 9-11 in a serious way here in this country. So, so I think there's ample evidence that, in fact, a lot of what we've been I don't have actually any, worked. I don't have okay. any problem with going into Afghanistan and taking out al-Qaeda. But the notion that if we simply stayed there forever... Afghanistan would be a peaceful place, or if we stayed not in Iraq. Suggesting that. I'm suggesting that we well, have to. What ha we are have you to have, suggesting? We have to have some sort of security agreement to make sure that the Taliban and other things do not. Surface no, that's fine. And I think the ramp down in let Afghanistan me, me, makes sense. Let me.